What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Two Little 78, coming to you from in my living room. Today is day four of Veda, and I'm doing super good. At least I think I am. But anywho, today I think I'm going to spend a little time on my stomach and how we found out that I was having that what the problem was. Okay. I started having stomach issues around the year. 2014 sometime in 2014 like towards the end of the school year and um we were going through a lot of stuff in our district and oh my god one of the things was um the rift retention and force where they said we had too many staff for the amount of kids we had in our district well so that meant they were gonna have layoffs and stuff so by then, I had already started having stomach issues, but I just accredited to stress. Even though I had a plan, if I was going to be a part of the rift, I knew that I was going to, one, call the unemployment thing, draw my unemployment benefits, and go back to school. That was my plan. And then I had a backup plan. I could, you know, apply for a job to work in a nursing home because I do keep up my uh, CNA license and my med aid license. So then after that... The riff came out, I think, during the summer. It was like in like waves. They did like a, which was kind of crazy because they had the, like, they knew, like, I think towards the end of the school year, you know, hey, no, you're, you're not going to return and all that good stuff. Well, after that happened, the summer, summer 2014, it came out and everything settled. Well, I was going through having stomach issues and I still just like, accrediting it to just stress so then I finally uh I went and picked up my keys for work and they and I wasn't part of the rip well that same day I was bringing my boxes and stuff and because I didn't have to report to work till like I think the following week but I want I wanted to get ahead so I put out my stuff I think I even put out the toys I think I think I did sanitize them and stuff and put them out but uh, that day, I wasn't feeling good. Then my stomach started bothering me and it felt like I needed to vomit. Because that was like one of my things. I was just always vomiting all the time. And um, so then I think about... This went on during the first half of this. Now I'm into this school year, 2014-2015 school year now. And I was maybe about October, November... I finally got an appointment with a, a stomach doctor, which I really like. And because they had, because they kept thinking, like when I would go to the ER, they would always want to check the gallbladder first. Well, it wasn't nothing wrong with my gallbladder, so I they was like, you need to see a stomach specialist. So I went and seen the stomach specialist, like I said, in like November or October, somewhere in there. And I think, I don't forgot what the name of this thing was where they go through your mouth. They put you to sleep and go through your mouth to look in your stomach. Well, they did that. And I ended up um, having gastritis and a high a a hiatal hernia. Which is, it sits like right here, like at the top of the stomach, I believe. And at the esophagus, right there, somewhere right up in there. Well, we found out what the problem was. He says, well, we're going to start putting you on a Pepsi. And so they started me off on 20 milligrams. Well, the 20 milligrams was not helping and I was still hurting. And like we would be just like anywhere and I would just get sick all of a sudden. So he put me on 40 milligrams. That kind of helped a little while till December of 2014. I started going to the little emergency clinic. I think I went at least at least four times in that month. Four to five times. And like that last time I went, which was like right before Christmas break, we ended up, the emergency doctor said, there's really nothing I can do. You need to go have that surgically fixed because you are having too much problems. And... I'm going to refer you to somebody. So he referred me to somebody. Well, I had told my aunt about it, who is an RN. She says, no, you don't want him. Find you somebody else. 
So I was calling around for different doctors and whatnot. And uh, I ended up calling back. It dawned on me, hey, call your stomach doctor. So I called the stomach doctor and they referred me to another doctor. So I called that office and he told me, this is like a, uh, they do weight loss. They do all kind of different uh, surgeries like laparoscopic. I think that's how you say it. And so he, um, I called his office and they said, well, no, he doesn't do them, but this other doctor does. I mean, we're going to set you up with her, which was no problem. And I said, okay, well, the sooner the better. This was like December. And my appointment was for January. Well, uh, I think January came and I was getting ready to see this lady doctor. And they were like, no, we're going to have to reschedule you because she has an emergency surgery going on. So she can't see. You. So it's like, well, can you put me with somebody else that do, does these surgeries? And they did. And um, I saw him in January. And he says, well... I did a little research on the surgery. I knew my number one thing was they said no lifting for a good little while. So I was okay with that. So then I, um, what did we do? I went and saw him. We set up the surgery for February the 13th, I think. It was February the 13th. And I ended up having to stay one night in the surgery. I meant one night in the hospital. And oh my God. I was up moving around like they were like, do you need um, that night? I needed to go to the restroom. So they used to have to come in and unhook the IV and, you know, I'd walk to the re to the restroom and back. And they came in giving all these different shots and stuff. And um, what happened? Let me think what else happened. They were really nice in the hospital with well, the doctor that did my surgery the next morning, which was this was the weekend of Valentine's Day. So I got out the hospital Valentine's Day. They told me, uh, you need to, uh, she said, take it easy on what to eat and all that stuff, you know. Because it was like a liquid diet. Uh, a liquid diet was basically what I was on, which was like horrible. The only thing I really ate was the jello and the juice that they sent, like tea. I didn't like that broth stuff. Oh my God, it was so horrible. But before, before we went into the surgery... The doctor was telling me all these different things that I would probably never be able to eat. And one of them was bread. So I was like, okay. So then I came home and as soon as I got home, I did my makeup. Because I had already taken a bath before I had left the hospital. But I had on full face makeup because I knew I was probably going to have company over. Somebody was going to come visit and they didn't. They were like, you are fully, you don't look sick. I was like, well, no, I need to look pretty. So when guests come, you know, I'm good. So I stayed in bed and all that. And uh, I had visitors. I got a plant, which was so nice to them. And uh, as you know, days went on after that, after the surgery, I was like tired, exhausted. And that wasn't me. And that wasn't normally me. Well, then, like, I think maybe a couple of weeks after my surgery, I started feeling really bad again and hurting right here. And so we went to the ER, and they were like, well, you're going to hurt and all this good stuff. And I'm like, well, I didn't think I was going to still be hurting. And they say, it's going to take a lot of time for all your insides and stuff to heal. Well, after that happened, uh, they said follow up with the surgeon. I was like, man, do I really have to follow up with him? He's like a butthead. To me, he was. That's the way I felt about it. Because when we went in for our follow up for him to uh, take the bandages off, he just like ripped them with no mercy. He just, well, I was already in pain as it was. And I had questions, but I didn't get to ask them questions because I was in so much pain and just like in tears because I couldn't think. So I was like, well, let's follow up appointment. Let me write down all my questions and all that good stuff and uh, set up an appointment, you know, and with the doctor. Well, I set up the appointment. I think the day of the appointment, they called and told me, oh, well, we're going to have to reschedule you. The doctor's going to be out indefinitely. I said, okay. 
This was like the beginning of March, the appointment was, the follow-up appointment. So then they rescheduled me for the doctor that came and saw me in the hospital. They said, we're going to put you with her and you'll see her April 1st. Okay. The week of April 1st came. They called me and told me, oh, we're going to have to reschedule you again. I'm like, really? Come on now. Well, by then, I was upset and had a fit. And I told him, I said, this is the second time this to happen, and this does not make no sense. I say, we need, I haven't did anything, no exercising, no lifting, or none of that stuff. You know, I need to know what's going on. Well, between all of this stuff was going on, sometimes I don't eat, so I have to drink. I just can't go without eating, so I have to drink insurance, because that'll be all I'll do is drink an insure. I may drink one for breakfast, one for lunch, and maybe a meal or one just for breakfast and like a snack or something like that. Well, after that happened, on the first, I said, you know what, I'm coming up there because I had my questions because I had been jotting down questions anyway in my phone, you know, to ask the doctor. So I said, well, no, I got some paperwork I need y'all to, uh, to, uh, to fill out, so I'm just going to be on my way. So when I got up there, I asked him about my doctor that did my surgery. The, the people at the front, at the front desk, were like, oh, you know, they couldn't say nothing. Well, they brought me to the back, and I talked to one of the other ladies that I guess does the billing and scheduling and stuff. She was able to talk to me, and she told me what happened to my surgeon. He actually went back home to Florida to be with his family. And I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe if they would have told me that, I probably wouldn't have been so pissed off because I didn't know what was going on. So then I asked him about my other doctor that, I'm so, that I was supposed to see that week. Her dad passed away. So now they scheduled me for an appointment on the 22nd. Well, I'm like, I still have these questions. And they were like, well, I'll see if the other doctor can answer them. I said, wait a minute. That doctor can't answer my questions because when I was scheduling to see him about the hyena hernia. They said he didn't work on them. So how can he answer my questions? So I still haven't found, heard anything from the doctor's office about my questions. So I've just like been, it's basically a hit or miss with things that, like certain things I can eat and certain things I can't eat. But she, the lady told me, well, now mind you, I don't believe this is a nurse. But she's like, well, you're probably gonna have to go back on your Pepsi. You probably need to start back taking that. Uh, she was able to answer a little bit of my questions, but I want to hear it from a doctor because that's what I pay for. That's what insurance pays for is for me to get stuff from the doctor. Well, then in the process, I'm like, well, should I be seeing a dietitian then, you know, to get like my eating back on track? You know what I should be eating in because they probably know a little bit better. She say, well, yeah, we'll refer you to a dietitian to get you back eating eating properly you know because i'm still it's hit or miss she told me i would probably now this is the little reception lady like in the back she tells me you're probably not going to baby to ever eat spicy foods well i live in southeast texas and you know i'm close to louisiana and we like spicy stuff and i love and you know and i'm so scared and like i won't eat jalapenos since my surgery I won't even go near the bad boys. I eat like chicken. Have I had to? I eat fish, which I think I'm going to ask my husband to take me today to Outback. Because like while he was away on his motorcycle trip, I ate it. But I didn't eat the side dishes. I just ate the fish because it had like little crawfish and like this sauce on top, which didn't give me issue. And I and that's one thing I eat. I used to love eating broccoli, but I'm too scared because I don't know what it's going to do. And considering that, you know, my husband isn't always home. And if I get to hurting by myself, oh, my God, I don't think I could bring myself to the hospital. And like sometimes I have those episodes where I'm hurting really bad. And like I was telling the lady, I'll drink a Sprite and I'll belch and it feels so much better because it just feels like right here that it's just like it's not like oh excuse me it's not like a sharp pain it's like a stab like a stabbing or like it's just caught right there and like it doesn't want to move and so 
I need all these answers. And she's like, well, Sprite is only a temporary fix because once it gets down to the stomach and it's just like all big mess, you shouldn't be doing it. So, like, I notice now, like, after I eat, if we go to a restaurant and eat, or even at home, I will have to go walking. Walmart, the mall, outdoors, I'll get in a good walk and then it'll just feel like everything just moved and I'll feel better. Sometimes I'll have to stop eating, like, I'll put the fork down anyway because I have to eat so much slower. But I'll have to sit up straight because I guess I feel like I'm hunched over. And I'll sit up straight to try to, you know, relieve that pressure. But sometimes it works, sometimes it not. It's just like a hit or miss. But, ooh, I didn't know this video was so long. But anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know. I'll probably put pictures on my Instagram and maybe my Facebook page about it and, and you know say hey you know hey warning this may gross you out but hey it's my page and i want people to know you know and i want people to see because it's like it looked like like five little like incisions and stuff you know to make humor out of it you know we would tell people all kind of silly stuff because i walked really bad like really slow and bad like the first couple of weeks well, first couple of days, like maybe a week, about a week with my surgery and stuff. And so, so yeah, that's what's going on. And I'm probably keep y'all posted and do another VEDA video on it after I leave the doctor's office to let y'all know what happened and everything. So I'll holler at y'all later. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.